Hi, my name is Jacob Bakowski and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. And today I'm going to show us how to use Layout Mode in SOLIDWORKS to create some kinematic linkages. Uh, this is the model I've created from Layout Mode. It's just a simple uh, two-bar linkage that moves a piston from rotational to linear motion. Let's get started. In order to begin layout mode, you first select File, New, and we're going to select the Assembly MM template. This is the train templates available for download uh, from SOLIDWORKS' website. It's just an assembly template. Um, right away, if, it, if there's nothing open, it's going to ask you to open up a document. Just close that out. If you have anything open, it'll bring up this uh, Begin Assembly uh, in the Begin Assembly Property Manager here, we have this button called Create Layout. We're going to select Create Layout. Create Layout opens a 3D sketch on a 2D plane. It always starts on the front plane. You'll notice that it's a 3D sketch, so there are a few uh, sketch entities that I cannot create while within a 3D sketch. In order to create these, I need to create them on a separate uh, in a separate part by themselves. I'm going to create two slot pieces for the linkages. So I'm going to create a new part. I use the part MM template. Create a new sketch on the front plane. Select my center point slot tool. And I'm going to make the holes here. The first one I'll make a hundred millimeter linkage by thirty millimeters with fifteen millimeter hole on both sides. To save this, we're gonna save this as a block and we're gonna insert each of these things as block items. So this link is gonna become a block. To make this a block, I can uh, I can do it several ways. I can hover over all of the things I want to be inside of my block. And in the Instant Change toolbar, Make Block is the third option. Another way to get to it is I've enabled the Blocks toolbar by right mouse clicking in the top, selecting Blocks, and you see the Blocks toolbar right here. I've placed it on the left hand side of my interface. I'm going to hover over the things I'd like to make a block, select Make Block, and hit the drop down arrow for an insertion point. This allows me to quickly drag and manipulate blocks inside of my layout mode. I like the snapping point to be the leftmost side here of the hole. I'm going to hit the green check, scroll down, right mouse click on the block, and select Save Block. And I'm going to save it and name it 100. I've made a folder for blocks. And you can see I've done the same thing by making block layouts here. I've made uh, another 300 uh, millimeter long block the same way. So now I'm going to control tab back to my layout mode. Over here on my blocks, uh, tab. You can also get it on the uh, layout tab of the command manager. All my blocks are also over here. I've cropped my screen a little bit, but it's on the middle right here. I have all my block options. Again, since my um, user interface is, is a little bit condensed for this video, I've added the block toolbar on the side. I'm going to select um, insert block, click browse, Go to my block layout folder, open up my 100 block, just click to place it in. I'm going to click browse, I'm going to go to the same location. Now that I have these two blocks in place, I can quickly snap them in. I'm going to grab, here's an insertion point. You can see if I hover my mouse over, it turns blue, indicating I have an insertion point there. 
I can click and drag, make it coincident here, and now this rotates. I'm going to make this the center point here coincident with this center point by dragging. And now I have these bars are linked up. Within the same layout mode here, I'm going to create the piston. I'm going to sketch a corner rectangle. Draw a center line through the middle and add a point. That'll be my insertion point. For this example, I'm going to make it 16 millimeters. The overall size, I'm going to make 175 millimeters. And the overall height, I'm going to make it 60 for the block. Again, I'm going to hover over, highlight everything, select make a new block from these things. Expand my insertion point and drag the insertion point up to that point that I've created. Hit the green check. Now I'm still in layout mode. I'm going to drag this, this point to the middle there. And start adding relations. This thing can kind of move around a bit. I would like this to be horizontal and I want to make this horizontal line coincident with the origin that way I can test the motion once I've assembled the block diagram in layout mode I'm gonna exit layout mode by clicking the symbol up here and test the motion it moves as expected Okay, so now my sketch linkage works and all the pieces are moving. Now let's take this 2D sketch and bring it into the third dimension. Um, I'm going to do this by selecting on the Layout tab of the Command Manager. Somewhere in the middle of the Command Manager we have Make Part from Block. Make a new part from the Layout Sketch Block. I have two options. I can constrain this part to be coplanar with the plane of the block in the Layout Sketch by choosing the on block relationship or I can create a part that's projected from the plane but it's not constrained coplanar with it so in the assembly mode I could the I could drag the part in a direction normal to to the plane of that block um, I'm gonna choose on block because I want to keep it in this plane I'm gonna select this block from the graphics area hit the green check it's asking me for my training temp for my template excuse me I'm gonna choose the part template and you'll see that a new part appears in the feature manager design tree. I'm going to open this up. And it appears in the same place and orientation it was in the assembly mode. Uh, I'm going to activate my contour select tool. I do want to extrude this region here. And I'm going to use the instant 3D, hold the M key to make a mid plane extrusion. I am going to extrude it, say, 40 millimeters here. And uh, I'm going to create my uh, sketch geometry for my hole here. I'll stick it right here. It is 8 millimeters. And we'll make a cut through all. And I will add fillets to all the corners all at once here. And we will apply it. All right. To allow my slot to fit inside of this piston here, uh, I am going to shell these faces. I am going to shell these two faces here about 5 millimeters. And we will move the, the cut below the shell. That way it 
hollows out the whole thing. Now that I've created my first part for my first block, I'm going to go ahead and create the rest of the parts from the rest of the blocks in my layout assembly. Go, I can right mouse click on this 300 here, make part from this block, choose the MM template, repeat the same procedure here for the 100 millimeter block. And now I have a complete feature tree. So I'm going to start making some parts from this. I'm going to go ahead to the 300 millimeter block, open it up. Again, I'll use the contour select tool and just give this a 30 millimeter midplane extrusion with the instant 3D tool. I'm going to control tab back into the assembly hide some of these sketches here and you'll notice that the uh, assembly still behaves as it should uh, I've noticed with this 100 millimeter linkage that I may need to fit the linkages on the outside to this bar in the middle here no problem I'm just gonna offset the extrusion go ahead and open up this 100 millimeter block I prefer the contour select tool, features, extruded boss, but this time I'm going to offset this 15 millimeters in this direction, going blind in that direction. Contour select, offset, 15 millimeters the other direction and the extrusion the other direction giving me my 30 millimeter gap that I need and now those two boss extrudes take care of this whole feature fitting together uh, I'm gonna hide the origins because they're a little bit in my way right now I'll also hide that sketch and here's my final piston assembly. My name is Jacob Bikowski with Go Engineer and this has been a quick tip video on layout assembly in SolidWorks 3D CAD. Uh, thank you for tuning in and have a great day. Mm -hmm.